Hey, what's happening, YouTube? Rod J back again to take a look at another beer. Thanks for swinging by to check out another video. I'm going to take a look at one from right here locally where I'm at, Cincinnati, Ohio. This is going to be one from Rheingeist Brewery, and it is going to be their Fluxian, which is actually a Belgian strong pale ale. So big thanks to Greg Wilson, who is actually their sales manager with Rheingeist, who actually got this to me to check out to see what my thoughts were on this one. Uh, this one comes in at a 6% ABV. Also, it comes in at 40 IBU. Looking forward to checking it out as I'm always a fan of Belgian style ales. Let's go ahead and get this baby open and let's get it into a glass. So I end up getting into the glass here. Actually, it poured out a nice big size head there, about three to four finger as you can see. Nice white head on it that should have some nice rockiness as it starts to break down. And I'm going to bet it's going to probably lace the glass pretty nicely. Really nice carbonation taking place. I don't know if you can see all that action because of some of the chill haze. But there are some nice bubbles streaming right up the glass. Once you get this one to the light, you actually can see through it a little bit more. And you can really see the bubble action really racing as the carbonation is pretty lively behind it. In the light, it has that nice golden straw color out of it. Pretty much the same, just a little bit of a darker hue than when the light is on it. As far as the aroma, oh wow. So with this one, I'm actually getting a nice fruit scent out of it. But I also get some pininess from the hops that were actually used here. Kind of a nice tropical presence, I think you will find on this one. And it's and one of the things that I do note on here compared to so many other ones is kind of more of a kind of, of a, a melon type scent, like maybe like a honeydew or cantaloupe, something along those lines. But it has a nice presence there of that kind of fruit as well. And it comes out pretty easily. So you do have to sniff a little bit, but not really too hard to really get to enjoy the flavors. If you're a person that likes a lot of tropical type scents, I think you'll enjoy that as well. As far as the taste. Oh, wow. That's got a nice little flavor to it. You get a nice good amount of the bitterness up front, but then a really nice, smooth, crisp break on the back end. No astringency, nothing really harsh as it goes down. A nice mouth flavor. Sits on the tongue definitely as a medium body. Very palatable. I can, uh, just from the first sip alone, I can already feel the flavors working their way around. It's got a great sturdy texture, not too watery at all. Really opens up very nice, not too over carbonated. The duration of the feel is a nice average to long duration, which is nice. So you can sit there, take a drink, and really enjoy the flavors to take in. That'll hang around a little bit before you take your next drink as well. Seeing some of the lacing now breaking down on the glass. All in all, a nice pleasant flavor, a nice balance against the malts as well. I do pick up some of that smoothness. This one actually plays pretty well, I think. I think if you like a nice, good, sturdy type pale ale, I think this one can definitely be a nice match for that. It's not going to be as much fruit forward as, say, some of the American pale ales. Um, this one's going to have a little bit more toward the hop and toward the malt balance. So you're not going to have a ton of that like grapefruit presence we often see on a lot of pale ales. And the taste of it, I mean, it's just so smooth how it goes down. And on a taste, something of a slight sourness, but it's not a tart type sourness. It's just a slight sourness that gives it a little bit of a distinct feel. Now, on a bottle, it will tell you that it is a close cousin to one of their other beers called Fiction. And this one actually showcases Howard Tau Blanc and Huel Melon Hops which offer actually notes of honeydew, honeysuckle, and tropical fruit. So yeah, that, I did get that honeydew out of it for sure. But all in all, a good taste in beer, one you can definitely sit back and enjoy. Definitely you want to check it out if you can, if you're in the Cincinnati area, or you get Rheingeist beers where you're at, I would definitely say one to definitely pick up. As far as for me, as far as my overall take on this one, I found this one to be very pleasing. I had great drinkability on it and overall pretty pleasant beer so I'm going to give this one actually 4.25 out of 5 so that'll actually put it at the A minus level very pleasing uh, very dependable as a nice pale L to enjoy and definitely one you can uh, relax with so there you have it the Fluxian which is a rarity from Rheingeist 
If you've had it before, let me know. Put some comments in the comment section. Let me know what you think about it. But yeah, check that one out. But thanks again for swinging by to check out another video. I definitely look forward to catching you on the next one. As always, please remember to like, comment, subscribe, share, all that good stuff. Keep drinking good craft beers. Cheers.